So in the previous video for Sound Decisions, we set up the design screen. Now we're going to talk about programming. We're going to start by programming our clocks. And the way that we're going to do this is we're going to come to variables and we're going to make two variables. And variable one, we're just going to simply call time up because we're going to count upwards. And variable two, we're going to call it time down because we're going to count downwards on that. Now we're going to drag in some math blocks and our up timer, we're going to start at uh, zero and our down timer, we're going to start at 10 seconds. There we go. So we're going to go down to clock one. And when that clock ticks or fires, we're going to change our variable. So we're going to set our variable on our up timer to uh, getting our variable plus one. So I can duplicate here. So every time that clock ticks, we're going to add one to our variable. Now the clock's default setting is uh, 1000 milliseconds, which is one second. So every time, so we're going to go time up here. So every time it clicks, we're going to see that we're going to do this. I have my emulator running right now, which is why I'm getting an error. So I'm going to close that. Uh, then I'm going to set my time label. So I have that time up label. We can see it right here on the design screen. I'm going to set the text on that label. To... Uh, get my time up variable because I'm going to display whatever that reads on that clock. Now my logic is going to be simple on this. If my global time variable equals 10, because that's what I'm going to count to in this app, it could be anything in your game. So I'm going to duplicate this here. So if that label equals 10, I'm going to turn my clock off. The way I'm going to turn my clock off is, I'm going to come over here and go to set clock timer enabled to false. So I'm going to set my clock time one timer enabled to under logic then false. And this is where I use my notifier. I'm going to call my notifier to display a message. And the message that I want to display is just a simple game over. And because I'm dealing with a ball, I want my ball to stop. So I'm going to come here and set my ball speed. So the speed of my ball, I'm going to set that to zero. So I'm going to use that duplicate that math block there. I'm also going to set my global time up so I can duplicate from here. I'm going to set my global time up to reset itself. So I'm going to just take that block and then I can put this duplication in the trash. So what we can see, we has time one timer one working now. But what we have to do is uh, come over here to when our up is clicked, right? We want to set that clock enabled to true because we want that clock to start. And we also want to display. Oh, duplicate this. We want to display that timer when we hit the up timer to get that variable. Now, when the screen is initialized, so when screen one is initialized, we want our timers to be set to false so they don't run. So I'm going to duplicate here and set my timer to false. Because I know I'm programming a second clock, I'm going to duplicate this again and get ahead of myself and set it to clock two to false as well.